was just thinking about how, like, in LA, how quickly people will get on the bandwagon. Like, I told people, oh, um, there's an event, be here, how quickly they go to do that. And they don't understand why, like, people have a harder time doing that in terms of when it comes to the earth. Masai Mara with Netflix's Our Planet. Hello! Hi! <laughs> it's a mad, mad world here. We landed. There's some zebra right over here. There's some... No! <laughs> whatever the hell those are. The Mara is one of the places in Africa that has the most wildlife. Oh, so oh my god. No way. Oh, is that a hippo? It's a yeah. little bubbles coming up. There. Like, way, way down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, right the way down, yeah. Oh my God, wait, how long have we been here? 15 minutes? So it's like, I was like literally touched down in the Mara for like the first 10 minutes and I'm already watching these lions feed on this buffalo. It's not just lions that are there, it's hyenas and there are jackals there. I was blown away because the buffalo provided for all of them. Amazing. Okay, we just got put in our tents right out here. Is the river? There are four hippos right here. It is unbelievable. Well, being out here really like changes the way that you see things. Hello, baby. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god, you okay? Oh my god, he's up, he's up, he's up, he's up, he's up. He's up. He's up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh no. So I'm seeing the mom eat her placenta and the baby find her milk for the first time. Oh, hello, you got it, good job. Wrong way. The other way, yeah, The way. This baby's like, I'm stressed. <laughs> Are we gonna see a leopard? We're gonna see a leopard? first animals that we've seen that notice us, or at least acknowledge us. But I was thinking, I was thinking like, how quickly everyone like got in their cars and drove so quickly to see, um, how quickly people got in their cars to see the leopard. And then I was just thinking about how like, <laughs> The earth just seems so big. So maybe that's why we think that it's really hard, because it's like, it's so big that we can't even wrap our head around the problem. And I can grasp, I can understand that a little bit better. Animals and the people who live here need space. And when people keep taking it away or things change, makes me sad because I feel like there's there's room for everyone. Oh. Oh, I found her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> How was the trip? It was so amazing. Now that I've been here for three and a half days, I can honestly say that it, it truly is a life-changing experience. 
We saw a lot of babies, and then we saw a lot of big things. <sighs> but in terms of our planet, you really kind of understand that whole circle of life. And you learn, we're out here to coexist. We're not out here to dominate, or else this beauty will go away. This is the closest I've ever felt. Have my feet on the ground and be grounded and end as a part of our planet Earth. <laughs> Look at this. It's a full rainbow. This is everyone's home, and we must protect it.